Hey there, how are you? This is your host from Asus Zenfone Lite L1 development. So uh, I have been using this Fixel Experience ROM for the Lite L1 last uh, two to three days. So and I have been I have noticed some of the cool things about this and I have been testing the stability for some time and I just want to share you the details which I have found while using this build. So this is latest unofficial Fixel Experience custom ROM by Salim. Great thanks to him for making this for this device. So this build or it is close to stable or it is entirely near to stable. So this will be in soon in the official list of Fixel Experience. So yeah, that's a good news to share with you guys. So first as usual, we'll start with the boat animation. So this is a typical Google Pixel boat animation. So I really like this black color in the background instead of white. I guess <coughs> as the device is currently in dark mode, it is showing the dark boat animation. If it is in a, a, a light version, light theme, it will be like in white color background. So yeah. And while it is booting, I have to confirm that the bugs which we have faced in uh, lineage or sakura or sia dried those are fixed here as it is a aosp based rom not lineage so the problems like the usb file transfer uh, from your device to uh, pc in sd card it is working now and those things entirely has been fixed the next thing is the usb tethering that also has been fixed and i have checked personally so it is working fine i have just shared the internet through the um data through the uh, usb tethering method so that one just worked fine and third thing i have to mention is here they have merged the default camera as a google camera so you no need to worry about the routing and enabling uh, camera to api so it is already enabled and it's already installed just to let you know that this is the Google, Google camera that they have included here so it will work it is not stable as you can see that the, there are some crashes are there while rendering the uh, capture so that's for it but as usual it's common for Android and we are facing this issue for quite long time and the video recording is really working fine so as you can see it's smooth and let me show you Okay, so this one is working fine. So for alternative, I am always suggest you to use camera go, which I have installed here, which can take some decent picture and the performance was actually good. And <coughs> next thing I have to mention about is the battery backup in last video or the review of lineage. I didn't mention about much about the battery backup. I just told you that it will give minimum five hours to maximum seven hours so now i can officially uh, not officially i can tell that it is giving really good battery backup in terms of like <coughs> i just charged it yesterday so it's been eight hours and sorry not yesterday today really early morning or late night so i was continuously using for four and a half hours straight by watching youtube video and using some social media apps and all so still it left with 24 percentage charge and i have used four and a half hours of screen on time so that's really need to we need to consider while it will definitely give five hours to find a house there is no doubt on that so if it is in gaming it will be like four and a half hours or something i'm not sure whether the gaming is fine with this builds um and the next thing i have to mention is the audio problem earlier we have faced the low audio issue in gsa also in lineage it is it, is, it was like following us for quite some time but in this build i'm feeling the audio is little bit popped 
or little bit boosted i would say this is not uh, quite loud as pi beta or something but i would say that it is like decent decent amount of audio we are getting so i think this is one is pretty decent in terms of audio and the next thing i have to mention is yeah the some of you guys asking about this um safety net test and uh, about the banking apps so this one right now here in this build is fully encrypted and the safety net passes in the basic and basic integrity and the high level both the test it will get passed so i now i didn't uh, uh router this one as i want to use whatever it has i just want to go with that so i checked google pay it was working fine and some of the banking apps which won't work in the unlocked device also working here and if i have to tell that some disturbances so if you would ask how much it is encrypted or how much it is passing the safety nest i would say even if the device is unlocked and you are using a uh, official firm asus firmware the device won't even get uh, fully like certified so this one is fully certified now so if you are using normally a firmware with unlocked bootloader it doesn't show some of the uncertified apps sorry certified apps in the list but here it will show like a netflix i would search see here the netflix is coming so the device is currently certified both from google play side and from the magisk so that's the one I, I just wanted to show you so it is fully encrypted fully certified and you can use whatever banking apps it will work fine um the next thing i have to tell is this is the like the final or conclusion about this one is like this is one of the great build for this device this is really stable than anything as of now i would say as of now but the this things will change in future maybe we will get a better build than this or uh, the problems which have been we are facing here there is no problem at all but there are one or two issues here and there i can uh, show you that in later point of this video but i would suggest you guys to try this one because this is a one really working fine in this device the performance and the ram management everything is great uh, like i show you now see it is lightweight see the apps are minimal and it is like made for this device like it's pixel 2a or 3a like that so yeah that's what about uh, advantages of uh, pixel experience and if i want to talk about this uh, demerits one thing which i have noticed while using it for some time um we have a issue with the loud speaker the audio was not so clear in my opinion or for everyone's opinion well the volt is working there is no issue on that see the call got attended i'm just turning on the speaker the speaker is uh, working but it's really low you can't even hear that you need to entirely put it in your ear then only you can listen the it was one of the issue the loudspeaker one and if if i have to tell any other problem means like it's purely pure avosp based and we don't get any uh, cu uh, fancy customization like uh, roms like cr droid or resurrection remix or aex or something like that so we don't get any customization uh, my favorite feature in these rare roms are the network monitor indicator but here i am unfortunately find that uh, i am unfortunately find the network monitor indicator option so that's kind of a sad thing but rest along with that it's working really fine you can try and you never get regret